What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here and today I'm going to show you how to use the factory testing mode on your LG washing machine. Uh, I quite enjoy this mode as it is it makes it easy to um, like do certain things with the washing machine. So I'll show you guys now. So here we go, we have an LG direct drive washing machine. And we got some clothes in there for the all the excitement. And basically, if you hold down spin and temp and you press power on, you get a factory testing mode. And with this mode, you can go straight to pumping the washing machine. So this will show you the RPMs of the washing machine. And then you can just go straight to full spin. Just like that. Be careful though. Sometimes it can be a bit out of balance. <laughs> so this mode can be very dangerous as it disables a lot of the safety checks of the washing machine. But as you can see, we're, it's going up and then if we press it again, it'll go to a higher RPM speed. So you'll see the RPMs will start increasing. mode so this mode fills the washing machine with water so we'll have a look at that one we'll just go wait for it to finish spinning oh man it's not very balanced is it so it doesn't balance the load so you got to be careful so this one will just fill the pre-wash and then that's showing you the current water level and it goes down as it fills up and this one is also cold water, but on the main uh, suds tub. And then this one is for hot water. So that water is now quite warm. And we'll shut it, it's a bit loud. And you'll just see this number slowly increment until it reaches 230 in the case of the W11020D. Um, anyway. As you can see, the water level will rise. It'll eventually fill up to about here. So we can watch that. Feel free to skip ahead about a minute if you want to skip this section of the video as it is gonna take a little while. Anyway, so this is more to test the washing machine and this is testing the um, you know, different actuators that let the water come out from the, uh, the main supply of water and your wall. And this is also testing the water level in the sensor. So you can see it can detect the water level rising. And you'll see once it gets to about here, you can just start to see the water coming in. It'll stop once it reaches 2.30. And then if you press this button, the play pause button again, it goes into an infinite spin unless you stop it. Uh, we'll just keep spinning, never stopping. This really creases up your clothes, by the way. I don't recommend using this mode a lot. It's just for factory testing. Um, and the next one, I don't know what it does. I think it's related to the heater element because I think that's the current temperature of the water. So it may try and heat the water to a set temperature range but I haven't really tested this one because I don't know if it's safe or not. And I just kind of don't really know what you should do. So we'll go to the next one. And this one just pumps the water out. And that's it. That's the end of factory test mode. So it's full of water right now. So we can pump all that water out. And then we can basically go straight to spin cycle. So let's do that. You can hear the water getting pumped out. And now it's empty. And we're gonna go straight to spin cycle. It might be a bit shaky. Oh, it's okay. It's definitely a little bit shaky. And you can see that it's not very happy because all the suds come down the front, but it's 
and it kind of struggles to increase the RPM. So I think the washing machine might be struggling a little bit. So we'll give it a little break. And we'll turn it on again. Anyway, one more round. So this time it was quite balanced. Very good. Straight to high RPMs, look at that. So if you ever really want to dry your clothes real quick and you don't want to wait ages for the spin cycle, sometimes it can be handy to use this testing mode. This goes straight to 11,000 RPM. And, um, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed that video, uh, having a look at the factory mode of the LZ washing machine. Um, I know that I'm sure you all found it very exciting, <laughs> probably not, but hey, look, it's pretty cool having a washing machine that you can take control of. And for instance, sometimes I just put in the Dyson filters and just go straight to like fill it up all the way with hot water and then just spin for like 15 minutes and then go straight to spin and I take them out and they're dry and I leave them in the sun. So it's pretty handy when you don't want to do a two hour cycle of just to rinse something like a wash, like a um, vacuum cleaner filter or something um, to use those factory modes. But once again, be careful because uh, it can shake around a bit if it's not balanced, like, and it won't stop itself. It doesn't have the safety features to like, they're all disabled in the factory testing mode. So just be careful. It could be potentially destroying the washing machine. So yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Make sure that you watch it while you use the factory testing modes. All right, as an extra bonus for you guys, we're gonna have a little look at what it looks like uh, in the washing machine when you put your phone in it. So let's do that.